Last time I made a long tail for a 120cc 8.5 horsepower chainsaw motor, but it was lame. This is the propeller I used last time. This is one that I've 3D printed. It's got a lot more of a cup on it, so it catches the water better. So hopefully it'll surface drive. It's got a sort of a key printed into it. Hopefully this works. That's only printed at 20% um, infill. The blades are quite thick, but yeah, definitely viable. 3D prints hold up, no worries. It's PLA plus, which is pretty strong. I'm probably gonna go through and print a whole bunch of different propeller shapes to get the optimum. A lot of people have pointed out there is no, see it's pretty hot. There's no cowling for the top. I never came with one. So I might make a cowling for the top also because this uh, fan blows cool air through all the cooling fins, keeps it cool. Don't catch fire. There we go, fits pretty nicely. Could have done with a little bit more hammering, but it's not too bad. Okay, we're out here. It's been horrendous weather and the water is pretty rough, but we might give it a go anyway. As you can hear, this prop is still too aggressive. Even though it ran okay in the test tank. All right, we'll change the propeller, less pitch. Come on, baby. This prop was just getting onto the plane, but the chop was slowing me down. Oh no! Oh, uh, I ran out of gas! Oh. Uh, uh, almost planning there. Okay, here we go. Woo. Oh, it was almost, almost plain in there, eh? If it just could get over the hump and then start revving, eh? Now that's not aggressive, uh, it's too aggressive again. So back to the drawing board. I'm now going for a 100 millimeter diameter, one rotation, 75 mil high. You can slow this down if you want to see what I'm doing. So a lot of my viewers are really smart people and I would love to try out your designs. So make sure the blades are at least three millimeters thick and bear in mind, once it's up on the plane, it will start to surface drive so it needs a bit of a cup. Also, this motor makes most of its power between eight and 9,000 RPM. There is potential to go pretty fast like the setup I have used before. So save as an STL file and email it to me, then I'll test them out on a calm day in the harbor and see whose design is fastest. And put a link to your channel or whatever if you want. 
Then I'll sand them down and maybe put resin on to make them smoother and see if that makes them go even faster. There will be measurements at the end of the video in the, and in the description. There's the new one printed. It's a bit flimsy, but it might work. We'll try it. There's the pitch difference. So the next day I tested in this little creek that was flooded. It was going alright, but the propeller snapped. Alright. That's what this is for. Testing in tiny creeks. Okay, this little prop worked, but it snapped. So I've lost a fair bit of power. I don't know how early it was when it snapped. These are the different props I printed. This one here, I think this would work as well on the flat water. I'll give you guys some dimensions so you can draw some and I can try them out next time, eh? <laughs> 